Shalom Kodoshim. Honor and esteem and praise to Yahuwah all should die. Hallelujah. In this prayer, we're going to call this Satanic Delay Breaker. This prayer is going to deal with setbacks, delays, disappointments, rejections, right at the edge of a breakthrough. 1 Corinthians chapter 16, verse 9, it is written, For a great and effective door has opened to me, and many are opposing. 1 Thessalonians chapter 2, verse 17 and 18. But we, brethren, having been taken away from you for a short while, in presence, not in heart, but much more eagerly trying to see your face with much longing, we would therefore have come to you, I indeed, Paul, more than once. But Satan hindered us. One of the greatest strategies of the enemy, if they can't outright steal, kill, and destroy, is to delay. Mishle, Proverbs 13, 12. Hope deferred makes the heart sick, but when the desire comes, it is a tree of life. Mishle, Proverbs 15, 13. A merry heart makes a cheerful countenance, but by sorrow of the heart, the ruach is broken. Yahuwah has many promises in his word. He wants to barack us. He wants to increase us. He wants to shower us with his love. No good thing will be withheld from him who walks blamelessly. The devil knows if he can't just outright just take away the promise, that if he can delay it, over time we would get discouraged. Mishle, Proverbs 17, 22. A merry heart does good like medicine, but a broken ruach dries the bones. We've been filled up with Imuna. Waiting for the breakthrough to manifest. But years have went by and we haven't seen it. So now our words and our confessions are speaking negatively. Mishle, Proverbs 18, verse 20 and 21. A man's belly shall be satisfied with the fruit of his mouth. And with the increase of his lips shall he be filled. Death and life are in the power of the tongue. And they that love it shall eat the fruit. We need to be very mindful of the words that we speak. Elohim created the earth and the heavens and the waters with his words. Our words have power. Mishle, Proverbs 21, 23. Whoso guards his mouth and his tongue guards his soul from troubles. Matthew chapter 12, verse 36 and 37. It is written, But I say to you that every idle word that men shall speak, they shall give account of it in the day of judgment. For by your words you shall be justified, and by your words you shall be condemned. When Yahuwah had brought Yasharel out of Mishraim, they journeyed through the wilderness over 40 years, and only two people made it into the promised land. Numbers chapter 13, verses 16 all the way to the end. These are the names of the men whom Moshe sent to spy out the land. And Moshe called Husha, the son of Nun, Yahusha. And Moshe sent them to spy out the land of Kenan, and said to them, Go up here into the Negev, and go up to the mountains, and see what the land is like, and the people who dwell in it, whether strong or weak, whether few or many, and whether the land they dwell in is good or evil, whether the cities they inhabit are in camps or strongholds, and whether the land is rich or poor, and whether there are forests there or not, and you shall be strong, and bring some of the fruit of the land. Now the time was the season of the first fruits of grapes. So they went up and spied out the land from the wilderness of Sin as far as Rahab, near the entrance of Hamath. And they went up through the Negev and came to Hebron. And Ahiman, Shishai, and Talmai, the descendants of Anak, were there. Now Hebron had been built seven years before Soan in Mishraim. And they came to the Wadi Eshkol and cut down from there a branch with one cluster of grapes. And they bore between two of them on a pole, also of the pomegranates and other figs. That place was called the Wadi Eshkol because of the cluster which the men of Yasharel cut down from there. And they returned from spying out the land after forty days. And they went and came to Moshe and Aharon and all the congregation of the children of Yasharel in the wilderness of Paran at Kadesh. And they brought back word to them and to all the congregation and showed them the fruit of the land. And they reported to him and said, we went to the land where you sent us, and truly, it flows with milk and honey, and this is its fruit. But the people who dwell in the land are strong, and the cities are walled, very great. And we saw the descendants of Anak there too. The Amalekites dwell in the land of the Negev, while the Hittites and the Yebusites, 
and the Amorites dwell in the mountains, and the Canaanites dwell by the sea and along the banks of the Yardin. And Caleb silenced the people before Moshe and said, Let us go up at once and take the possession, for we are certainly able to overcome it. But the men who had gone up with him said, We are not able to go up against the people, for they are stronger than we. And they gave the children of Yasharel an evil report of the land, which they spied out, saying, The land through which we have gone as spies is a land eating up its inhabitants. And all the people whom we saw in it are men of great size. And we saw there the Nephilim, sons of Anak, of the Nephilim. And we were like grasshoppers in our own eyes, and so we were in their eyes. Once again, let's look at 1 Corinthians chapter 16, verse 9. For a great and effective door has opened to me, and many are opposing. There are many adversaries. Out of all the spies that were sent into the land, only Caleb and Yahushua, son of Nun, had positive reviews. The majority had a negative report. They viewed the giants to be bigger than a promise. Yahuwah was not pleased with his attitude. We need to have the right attitude. We are more than conquerors through him who loved us. Let's continue on into chapters number 14 and see the results of this evil report. Numbers chapter 14 verses 1 through 12. Then all the congregation lifted up their voices and cried, and the people wept that night. And all the children of Yasharel grumbled against Moshe and against Aharon. And all the congregation said to them, if only we had died in the land of Mishraim, or if only we had died in this wilderness, then why is Yahuwah bringing us to this land to fall by the sword, that our wives and children should become a prey? Would it not be better for us to turn back to Mishraim? And they said to each other, Let us appoint a leader, and let us turn back to Mishraim. Then Moshe and Aharon fell on their faces before all the assembly of the congregation of the children of Yasharel, and Yahushua son of Nun, and Caleb son of Yephunneh, who were among those who had spied out the land, tore their garments. And they spoke to all the congregation of the children of Yasharel, saying, The land we passed through to spy out is exceedingly good land. If Yahuwah had delighted in us, then he shall bring us into this land and give it to us, a land which is flowing with milk and honey. Only do not rebel against Yahuwah, nor fear the people of the land, for they are our bread. Their defense has turned away from them, and Yahuwah is with us. Do not fear them. But all the congregation said to stone them with stones. Then the kavod of Yahuwah appeared in the tent of appointment before all the children of Yasharel. And Yahuwah said to Moshe, How long shall I be scorned by these people? And how long shall I not be trusted by them with all the signs which I have done in their midst? Let me smite them with the pestilence, and disinherit them, and make of you a nation greater and mightier than they. We see here that the children of Yasharel were so discouraged that they wanted to die. They rather had went back to Mitzrayim than received a promise. Only Yahushua, son of Nun, and Caleb had the right spirit. They said, don't fear them. Yahuwah will barak us. He's going to give us this land. If it wasn't for Moshe interceding at this point, Yahuwah was just going to upright destroy them. The Most High was on the verge of actually disinheriting Yasharil. Let's jump down to verse 17. And now, I pray, let the power of Yahuwah be great, as you have spoken, saying, Yahuwah is patient and of great kindness, forgiving iniquity and transgression, but by no means leaving unpunished, visiting the wickedness of the fathers on the children to the third and fourth generation. Please forgive the wickedness of this people according to the greatness of your kindness, as you have forgiven this people from Mishraim even until now. And Yahuwah said, I shall forgive according to your word, but truly, as I live, and all the earth is filled with the kavod of Yahuwah. For none of these men who have seen my kavod and the signs which I have did in Mishraim and in the wilderness and have tried me now these ten times and have disobeyed my voice shall see the land of which I swore to their fathers, nor any of those who scorn me see it. But my servant Caleb, because he has a different ruach in him and has followed me completely, I shall bring him into the land where he went, and his seed shall inherit it. Let's jump down to verse 26. And Yahuwah spoke to Moshe and to Aharon, saying, How long shall this evil congregation have this grumbling against me? I have heard the grumblings which the children of Yasharel are grumbling against me. Say to them, As I live, declares Yahuwah, as you have spoken in my hearing, so I do to you. The carcasses of you who have grumbled against me 
are going to fall in this wilderness. All of you who are registered according to your entire number from 20 years old and above. None of you except Caleb, son of Yephunneh, and Yahusha, son of Nun, shall enter the land which I swore I will make you dwell in. But your little ones, whom you have said will become a prey, I shall bring in, and they shall know the land which you have rejected. When we begin to complain, and murmur, and grumble, this is evil in the sight of Yahuwah. Just as Master Yahusha said, we will either be justified or condemned for every idle word that we say. Only two here were justified, and the rest of the congregation were condemned. Some of us have been waiting for a long time for that breakthrough. We've been waiting for that promotion. We've been waiting for that marriage. But time just starting to go by, and now we're letting that time start to affect the words coming out of us. If we notice that the wait has been extended and we notice that a certain pattern is happening every time, we need to begin to look at what's going on in the unseen. Ephesians chapter 6 verse 12, it is written, Because we do not wrestle against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against authorities, against the world rulers of the darkness of this age, against spiritual wickedness in the Shamayim. Our dream like can reveal if there is a spirit of setback, a spirit of delay, a spirit of backwardness, a spirit of stagnation, a spirit of failure that's coming against us. Yahuwah is awesome because in our dream life he will expose the enemy that's fighting us that we can't see. Are we frequently having dreams where we're returning back to old workplaces, old schools? We see in the dream people from our past that we haven't seen in years. This represents in the dream that we have a spirit of setback and backwardness. We have a dream where we see water a body of water whether it's a river or a lake and we see that the water is very nasty and polluted very dark this could represent that we have a spirit of stagnation have we had dreams where we're moving forward we're making progress we're climbing up ladders we're moving upstairs then suddenly there's a barricade or a wall blocking our progress sometimes there may be a person standing right at that doorway this represents a strong man that's opposing us this is a spirit of delay that's been sent to stop us from receiving the promise. Once again, 1 Thessalonians chapter 2, verse 18. We would therefore have come to you, I indeed, Paul, more than once, but Satan hindered us. So, in this prayer, we are going to begin to come against these spirits that have been delaying us, that have been setting us back, that has been bringing rejection and failure right at the edge of a breakthrough. It is very important for us to continue to pray until we see the breakthrough without losing heart. 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, verses 14 through 24, it is written, And we appeal to you, brethren, warn those who are disorderly, encourage the faint-hearted, uphold the weak, be patient with all, see that no one renders evil for evil to anyone, but always pursue what is good, both for yourselves and for all. Rejoice always, pray without ceasing, and all give thanks. But this is the desire of Elohim and Mashiach Yahushua for you. Do not quench the Ruach. Do not despise prophesying. Prove them all. Hold fast what is good. Keep back from every form of wickedness. And the Elohim of Shalom himself make you completely Kodesh. And your entire spirit and being and body be preserved blameless at the coming of our master Yahushua HaMashiach. He who calls you is trustworthy who also shall do it. Hallelujah. While we're waiting for the promise, we have to keep praying without ceasing. We need to rejoice always giving thanks. This is the will of the Father. Luke chapter 18 verses 1 through 8. And he, Yahushua, spoke a parable to them, that they should always pray and not lose heart, saying, In a certain city there was a certain judge, not revering the Lord and him, nor regarding man. And a widow was in that city, and she came to him, saying, do right to me or my adversary. And he will not for a while, but afterward he said within himself, Even if I do not revere Elohim nor regard man, yet because this widow troubles me, I shall do right to her, lest by her continual coming she wears me out. And the master said, Hear what the unrighteous judge said, and shall Elohim not do right by all means to his own chosen ones, who are crying out day and night to him, and being patient over them? I say to you, that he shall do right to them speedily. But when the son of Adam comes, shall he find the belief on the earth? In this prayer, by belief, we're going to break every yoke, every wall, every mountain is going to be cast into the sea. I decree and declare, there shall be no more rejection. There shall be no more failure right at the edge of breakthrough. 
It's going to be no more delays. In the name of Yahushua HaMashiach, we command you to get behind us, Satan. So we're going to start these prayers. But first, let us come before our Father in the Shamayim. But root be Yahuwah, for his mercy endures forever. It's always important to ask for forgiveness for our sins before trying to engage the enemy in warfare. Yes, Yahu, Isaiah 59, verses 1 and 2. Behold, Yahuwah's hand is not short that it cannot save, not that his ear heavy that it cannot hear. But your iniquities have separated between you and your Elohim, and your sins have hid his face from you that he will not hear. 1 Yehuqanah, chapter 1, verses 5 through 10. And this is the message which we have heard from him and announced to you, that Elohim is light, and in him is no darkness at all. If we say that we have fellowship with him and walk in darkness, we lie and are not doing the truth. But if we walk in the light, as he is in the light, we have fellowship with one another. And the blood of Yahushua HaMashiach, his son, cleanses us from all sin. If we say that we have no sin, we are misleading ourselves, and the truth is not in us. If we confess our sins, he is trustworthy and righteous to forgive us the sins and cleanse us from all unrighteousness. If we say that we have not sinned, we make him a liar, and his word is not in us. Praise Yahuwah, because it is written in Micah 7.19, He will again have compassion on us and will subdue our iniquities. He will cast all our sins into the depths of the sea. Hallelujah. So, let us therefore come boldly unto the throne of favor, that we may obtain compassion and find favor to help in time of need. Hebrews chapter 4 verse 16. O oh, Yahuwah, we come before your presence today in appreciation of your love, your compassion, and mercy. You are good and your mercy endures forever. Through Yahushua HaMashiach, we attain your mercy over our lives and families. Thank you, O oh, Yahuwah, for granting us salvation and deliverance in Mashiach Yahushua. Thank you for making provision for our healing, deliverance, and prosperity in Mashiach through your mercy. Thank you that through your mercy, our desires, our prayers, and decrees and declarations will be granted in Yahushua's name. Our Father in the Shamayim, we earnestly desire and seek your mercy in our life at this time. Help us, Yahuwah. Show us the way out of the continuous promise and failures in our lives. Show us the way out of disappointments at the edge of breakthrough. Show us what we need to do to break free from where we're at right now. Show us how to break forth and break forward by fire, by force, in the name of Yahushua. Father Yah, forgive us for our sins by the greatness of your mercy. By the blood of Yahushua HaMashiach, O oh Yahuwah, forgive all our failings and our weaknesses. Forgive us for any words that we have spoken that have brought curses and condemnation upon us. We bow and we submit and surrender to your authority and your power, O oh Yahuwah. May your mercy and compassion speak for us in every area of our lives in the mighty name of Yahushua. By your compassion, O Yahuwah, deliver us from the consequences of all our errors and sins, our transgressions, our iniquities. By your mercy, grant us wisdom, direction, revelation, for total deliverance from every work of the devil in our lives. The Son of Yahuwah was manifested to destroy the works of the devil. By your mercy, O Yahuwah, Establish your zeal of righteousness and Kodesha in us. And by your mercy, let the host of the Shamayim take over all the battles in our lives in the name of Yahushua. O Yahuwah, grant us shalom that passes understanding. Heal our souls and deliver us from pain, brokenheartedness, disappointments, delays, setbacks, rejections. By your mercy, connect us with everyone you have ordained to be a Baraka in our lives. Deliver us from shame and near breakthrough syndrome. Show us things that we do not know, things about our lives that we should commit to, and bring Kavod to your name in the mighty powerful name of Yahushua HaMashiach. O oh, Yahuwah, by your compassion, empower us with ideas for financial breakthrough, marital breakthrough, ministerial breakthrough, and wealth creation. Protect and preserve our families from the destroyer. Surely there is no enchantment against Yaakov, neither is there any divination against Yasharel. O oh, Yahuwah, let every curse, enchantment, charm, witchcraft, and sorcery against our lives, our destinies, our marriages be permanently erased and destroyed in the name of Yahushua and by the power of his blood. Tehillim, Psalms 24, verse 7 through 10. Lift up your heads, O you gates, and be lifted up, you everlasting doors. And let the king of Kavod come in. Who is this king of Kavod? Yahuwah, 
strong and mighty, Yahuwah, mighty in battle. Lift up your heads, O you gates, even lift up you everlasting doors, and let the king of Kavod come in. Who is this king of Kavod? Yahuwah, Sebaoth, he is the king of Kavod, Selah. O Yahuwah, by your mercy, go before us, make the crooked path straight, open up the two leaf gates that won't shut. Open up the doors, the gates for us to fulfill your assignment for our lives, our destinies, our marriages, our ministries, and we enter in and we possess our possessions. In the name of Yahushua we pray. So be it. Hallelujah. Thank you, Yahuwah. Thank you, Yahushua. So now, let us engage the enemy in spiritual warfare. We're going to deal with the powers behind the setbacks, the rejections, the delays, and the failure. But first, I want to pray against some of these strongholds that may be also limiting us. 2 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 3 through 6. But though we walk in the flesh, we do not fight according to the flesh. For the weapons we fight with are not fleshly or carnal, but mighty in Elohim for overthrowing strongholds, overthrowing reasonings, and every high matter that exalts itself against the knowledge of Elohim, taking captive every thought to make it obedient to Hamashiach. And being ready to punish all disobedience when your obedience is complete. So what's a stronghold? According to Nahum chapter 1-7, Yahuwah is good, a stronghold in the day of trouble, and he knows them that trust in him. But sometimes we have some demonic strongholds that have been built up in our minds, in our soul realm, or a kafesh. It's these ideas, it's these reasonings, it's these arguments that will try to rise up and contend and resist what the word says. We are to overthrow these reasonings and any high thing that wants to step up and resist the word of Yahuwah and we are to throw it down, taking any imagination or thought that is contrary to the word of Yahuwah and making them obedient to Hamashiach. Sometimes the devil then built up strongholds in our physical lives. These can be addictions, bad habits, negative attitudes, and lifestyles that does not agree with the word. So before we go any further into warfare, I want to confess some scriptures that's going to lay the foundation for our victory. As I pray, let us come into agreement. Matthew chapter 18 verses 18 Truly, I say to you, whatever you bind on earth shall be having been bound in the Shamayim, and whatever you loosen on earth shall be having been loosened in the Shamayim. Again, I say to you that if two of you agree on earth concerning any matter that they ask, it shall be done for them by my Father in the Shamayim. But where two or three are gathered together in my name, there I am in their midst. Obed Yahu, Obadiah chapter 1, verse 17 and 18. But on Mount Sion there shall be a remnant, and they shall be Kodesh, and the house of Yaakov shall possess their possessions, and the house of Yaakov shall be a fire, and the house of Yosef a flame. But the house of Esau for stubble, and they shall burn them unto them, and they shall consume them so that no survivor is left of the house of Esau, for Yahuwah has spoken. Yoel, Joel chapter 2 verse 32, it is written, And it shall come to pass, that whosoever shall call on the name of Yahuwah shall be delivered. For in Mount Sion and in Jerusalem shall be deliverance, as Yahuwah has said, and in the remnant whom Yahuwah shall call. Hallelujah. Acts chapter 4 verse 10 through 12, it is written, be it known unto you all, and to all the people of Yasharel, that by the name of Yahushua, Hamashiach of Nazareth, whom you impaled, whom Yahuwah raised from the dead, by him, this one stands before you healthy. This is the stone which was rejected by you builders, which has become the chief cornerstone. And there is no deliverance in anyone else, but there is no other name under the Shamayim given among men by which we need to be saved. Philippians chapter 2 verse 9 and 11 it is written, Wherefore, Yahuwah also has highly exalted him, and given him a name which is above every name, that at the name of Yahushua every knee shall bow, of things in the Shamayim, and things in earth, and things under the earth, and that every tongue should confess that Yahuwah is Yahushua HaMashiach, to the esteem of Elohim the Father. Yahuqanon Rashon, 1 John chapter 4, verse 4, it is written, you are of Yahuwah, little children, and have overcome them, because greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. Hallelujah. Yeshayahu, Isaiah chapter 54, verse 14 through 17. 
in righteousness you shall be established far from oppression for you shall not fear and from ruin for it does not come near you behold they shall indeed assemble but not because of me whoever shall assemble against you falls for your sake behold I myself have created the blacksmith who blows the coals in the fire who brings forth an instrument for his work and I've created the waster to destroy no weapon formed against you shall prosper in every tongue which rises against you in judgment you shall prove wicked this is the inheritance of the servants of Yahuwah and their righteousness from me declares Yahuwah Luke chapter 10 verse 17 and the 70 returned again with joy saying master even the devils are subject unto us through your name and he said unto them I beheld Satan as lightning fall from the Shamayim behold I give unto you power to trample on serpents and scorpions and over all the power of the enemy and nothing shall by any means hurt you Yehuchanan chapter 14 verse 12 truly truly I say to you he who believes in me the worst that I do he shall do also and greater than these he shall do because I go to my father and whatever you ask in my name that I shall do in order that the father may be esteemed in the son if you ask whatever in my name I shall do it mark chapter 11 verses 22 through 24 it is written and Yahushua answering them said to them have belief in the Lord him for truly I say to you whoever says to this mountain be removed and be thrown into the sea and does not doubt in his heart but believes that what he says shall be done he shall have whatever he says because of this I say to you whatever you ask when you pray believe that you receive them and you shall have them now it's time to engage the enemy in warfare I'm coming in a heart full of belief and I decree and declare just as Caleb and Yahushua son of Nun had a different Ruach I say give us that mountain I decree and declare that by Imunah this prayer here is going to break every mountain of setback, delay, failure, and anything that's getting in the way of our progress. I command those mountains to be broken, removed, and thrown into the sea. In the name of Yahushua HaMashiach and Nazareth, let's go. Romans chapter 12 verses 1 and 2 I beseech you therefore brethren by the mercies of Elohim that you present your bodies a living sacrifice Kodesh acceptable unto Elohim which is your reasonable service and be not conformed to this world but be you transformed by the renewing of your mind that you may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of Elohim O Yahuwah by your mercies we present our lives our thoughts and our bodies to you as a living sacrifice. O Yahuwah, stir up our Ruachs toward Kodeshah in righteousness from this day onwards in Yahushua's name. Yahuwah, we surrender our feelings to you and we dedicate our minds, our imaginations, and our attitudes onto you. Open our eyes, O Yahuwah, to recognize every view, philosophy, idea, concept, and opinion that we nurture but which are a spiritual stronghold in our lives. Help us to let go of these false imaginations and thoughts in the name of Yahushua. Every plant that our Heavenly Father has not planted will be uprooted. O oh, Yahuwah, uproot out of our lives all inner arguments, emotional disagreements, and unbelief contesting your presence and power in our lives. Expose every lie in our minds, lies that we have accepted to be part of us. Expose and uproot them all by fire to be uprooted and cast into the sea in the name of Yahushua. Every deceitful, demonic philosophy, idea, and counsel resident in our subconscious and conscious mind be exposed and withered by fire right now in the name of Yahushua. We have the mind of Mashiach, so we decree and declare that our minds are now surrendered to HaMashiach. We call on the blood of Yahushua to cleanse our minds from every defilement, every lie, every false idea, in every ungodly concept keeping us from accessing the fullness of Elohim in our lives in Yahushua's name O Yahuwah reveal and remove from us in our lives every attachment influencing our attitudes negatively in the name of Yahushua creating us a clean heart O Elohim and renew a steadfast spirit within us in Yahushua's name from this day forward O Yahuwah 
Help us through the Ruach Kakudesh and empower the words of our mouths, the meditations of our hearts, and the daily decisions of our lives to be acceptable in your sight in the name of Yahushua. Today, we decree and declare a supernatural arrest of all negative ideas and imaginations in us resisting the move of the Ruach Kakudesh. We command these thoughts and imaginations to wither by fire in the name of Yahushua HaMashiach. We speak to all spiritual strongholds in our lives, working against the knowledge of Elohim. We command you, die by fire and be overthrown in the name of Yahushua HaMashiach. Micah chapter 5, verses 9 through 15, it is written, Your hand shall be lifted up upon your adversaries, and all your enemies shall be cut off. And it shall come to pass in that day, says Yahuwah, that I will cut off your horses out of the midst of you, and I will destroy your chariots. And I will cut off the cities of your land and throw down all your strongholds. And I will cut off witchcrafts out of your hand and you shall have no more soothsayers. Your graven images also will I cut off and your standing images out of the midst of you. And you shall no more worship the work of your hands. And I will pluck up your ashram out of the midst of you. So will I destroy your cities and I will execute vengeance and anger and fury upon the heathen such as they have not heard. Micah chapter 1 verse 7 it is written and all her carved images shall be beaten in pieces and all her gifts be burned with the fire and all her idols I shall lay waste for she gathered it from the hire of a whore and it shall return to the hire of a whore by the power in the blood of Yahushua we cancel and break every covenant agreement initiation and dedication with idols and the yokes and loads and burdens attached to them in Yahushua's name Every conscious or unconscious soul tie and covenant with custodian family, mighty ones, idols, oracles, and shrines, we command you be broken by the blood of Yahushua in the name of Yahushua HaMashiach. Every idol of personal opinions, views, and philosophies contesting for worship in our lives, we command you to cease to exist right now. Be beaten to pieces in the name of Yahushua. Every held thought that's challenging the sovereignty of Mashiach in our lives be overthrown by fire and thunder in the name of Yahushua HaMashiach. We command all negative obsessions that we have on money, lust, anger, bitterness, shame, rejection. We command you to die by fire right now. Don't ever rise again in the name of Yahushua. We plead the blood of Yahushua HaMashiach today and we stand on his power to sever ourselves from every mental stronghold binding us to the devil and limiting the baraka of Elohim in our lives. We decree and declare our minds, our brain, our thoughts, our meditations, and imaginations sanctified, Kodesh, by the blood of Yahushua HaMashiach in Yahushua's name. O Yahuwah, through your Ruach HaKodesh, expose every physical stronghold in our lives, every bad habit, and every attitude that must cease in the name of Yahushua powers, authorities responsible for all bad habits, attachments, bad addictions, and lifestyles in us. We command you, be disconnected, be cut off from us today by fire in the name of Yahushua. Any devils pushing us to sin and live against the knowledge and will of Elohim for our lives, we bind you, we rebuke you, we disable you, and we send you all into the abyss. We command you remain there don't ever come back into our lives again in the name of Yahushua. Today, we decree and declare that no demon, no evil spirit, no principality, no authority, no Malachim has a legal right over our lives. Our lives are hidden in Mashiach, and Mashiach in Yahuwah. The life we live now is not ours, but Mashiach's. We live every day of our lives for the esteem of Elohim in the name of Yahushua. O Yahuwah, stir up our Ruachs to hate lust, anger, bitterness, alcoholism, smoking, drug abuse, overeating, video game addictions, TV addictions, movie addictions, and every other damaging lifestyle before now, warring against us and frustrating our growth in you, in Yahushua's name. Oh, Yahuwah, deliver us from the consequences of our past mistakes, errors, and submission to harmful lifestyles and thoughts, in Yahushua's name. Exodus chapter 22, verse 32 and 33, it is written, Do not make a covenant with them, nor with their mighty ones, let them not dwell in your land lest they make you sin against me when you serve their mighty ones, when it becomes a snare to you. By the power and the blood of Yahushua, we break all curses and covenants from our past thoughts and lifestyles in the name of Yahushua. 
every problem, challenge, and limitation in our lives resulting from our words, thoughts, and behaviors. Oh, Yahuwah, give us victory over them in the name of Yahushua. Yahuwah, by the Ruach HaKodesh, we call on you today to empower us to bear your fruits in our lives. Help us to walk in love, shalom, joy, patience, gentleness, kindness, and self-control in Yahushua's name. Our Father in the Shamayim, Father, we ask that you would surround us with people who would challenge us towards a Kodesh and excellent life. Help us to reject the counsel of the ungodly, the way of sinners, and the wine of mockers in the name of Yahushua. We decree and declare that today that we shall henceforth depend on Yahuwah's word day and night, and his power shall work in us always to bear good fruits. We decree and declare that we are like a tree planted by the side of the river. Our strength shall not fail. From season to season we shall bear fruit in the mighty name of Yahushua. Praise Yahuwah. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Yahushua, for answering our prayers in Yahushua's mighty name. So be it. So now let us deal with the powers that are behind these issues, these things that are delaying us and setting us back and bringing backwardness. Our Father in the Shamayim, we decree and declare our trust and confidence in you. We declare that you are at work in our lives right now. We decree and declare that through Yahushua HaMashiach, you are in our boat. And no matter the wind or the turbulence, you will never leave us nor forsake us. Be esteemed now and forever in Yahushua's name. Today, Yahuwah, we come to you for insights, direction, and revelation. As you said in Jeremiah 33, 3, that if we call on you, you will answer and show us great and mighty things which we do not know. So, Yahuwah, we call on you today. Open our eyes and show us great and mighty things which we do not know. Daniel chapter 2, verse 22, it is written, He reveals the deep and secret things. He knows what is in the darkness, and the light dwells with him. O oh, Yahuwah, show us everything we need to know to receive our deliverance and our breakthrough. Father, show us the secrets of our lives that we do not know, the things that are in darkness, secrets that we need to know to become what you want us to be and succeed as you designed for us in the name of Yahushua. We stand on your word today and we pray, Yahuwah. Yahushua said in Matthew 16, 19, it is written, And I will give unto you the keys of the kingdom of Elohim. And whatsoever you shall bind on earth shall have been bound in the Shamayim. And whatsoever you shall loose on earth shall have been loosed in the Shamayim. We therefore come against every power, every authority, every principality, every strong man, bringing about a pattern of disappointments, rejections, setbacks in our lives and families. We bind you up and we decree and declare that you are banished from our lives and families. Don't ever return here. We cast you into the abyss in your hooch's name. Every known or unknown covenant agreement, initiation, dedication, alliance, oath, contract, vow, or ritual, empowering evil spirits to cause delay, rejection, setbacks, backwardness, disappointments for us at the edge of breakthrough. We decree and declare and end to you right now by the blood of Yahushua HaMashiach. We command you, cease from operating in our lives and families in Yahushua's mighty name. By the power in the blood of Yahushua, every curse, incantation, counsel, evil decrees, voodoo, hoodoo, white magic, black magic, divination or sorcery that triggers rejections, delays, setbacks, failure, and disappointments for us in our lives. We command you to be broken and canceled today and forever in the name of Yahushua. Powers of disappointment, rejections, delays, setbacks at the edge of breakthroughs. We command you to be destroyed today. Don't ever rise again in the name of Yahushua. Matthew chapter 12 verse 28 it is written but if I cast out demons by the Ruach of Elohim then the reign of Elohim has come upon you or how is one able to enter a strong man's house and plunder his goods unless he first bind the strong man and then he will plunder his house every strong man every strong woman every controlling and dictating spirit responsible for every delay disappointment setback backwardness stagnation in our lives and families we bind you, we rebuke you, we uproot you, we command you, come out with all your roots in the name of Yahushua. Arrows of confusion, fear, mistakes, disappointments, and defeat fired into our lives with a command to manifest right at the edge of breakthrough. We command you, be destroyed by fire today in the name of Yahushua. Every arrow of evil delay fired into our stars, die in the name of Yahushua. 
every arrow of backwardness and setback fired into our stars. We command you, die in the name of Yahushua. Every chain of stagnation, we command you, break, shatter to pieces in the name of Yahushua. Yermayahu, Jeremiah 23 verse 19. Behold, a whirlwind of Yahuwah is gone forth in fury, even a grievous whirlwind. It shall fall grievously upon the head of the wicked. We loose the whirlwind of Yahuwah to scatter every delayed tactics organized against our joy and breakthroughs in the name of Yahushua. Every delay, setback, program to tie us down. We command you, break, come out with all your roots in the name of Yahushua. Every arrow of disappointment fired into our lives. We command you, die in the name of Yahushua. By the power in the blood of Yahushua, we break all curses and covenants of satanic delay, setback, backwardness, stagnation in the name of Yahushua. You, the deep pit, swallowing our virtues, we command you, vomit them up now by fire in the name of Yahushua. Chains of delay holding our stars, we command you, break, shatter the pieces in the name of Yahushua. Clouds of darkness around our breakthroughs, we command you, scatter by fire in the name of Yahushua. Powers of stagnation, we command you, dry up in the name of Yahushua. Every witchcraft padlock holding down our progress, catch fire, explode in the name of Yahushua. Books of generational failure bearing our names, catch fire, roast to ashes in the name of Yahushua. Every satanic court summoned to deliberate on our progress, scatter in the name of Yahushua. Every anti-favor oil on our heads, dry up in the name of Yahushua. Every covenant, agreement, initiation, or dedication of hard labor of our father's house and our mother's house, we break you by the power in the name of the blood of Yahushua. Ruach Kakodesh fire, convert all our delays to speed by fire in the name of Yahushua. We decree and declare today that this is our time of set favor. Yahuwah's mercy and favor will speak boldly and visibly in every aspect of our lives in the name of Yahushua. According to Psalms chapter 5 verse 12, for you, Barat the righteous, O Yahuwah, you surround him with favor as with a shield. We receive favor in our lives, our marriages, and our homes. We receive favor in our place assignments. We receive favor in our ministry and daily activities in the name of Yahushua. We command every aspect of our lives that has been overtaken and be clouded by disappointments, rejections, delays, and setbacks to receive total deliverance right now and we receive it in Yahushua's name. From henceforth, let no man trouble me, for I bear my body the marks of Master Yahushua. Every malicious attachment in our lives, every strange mark from the crown of our head to the soles of our feet, every evil presence in and around us, responsible for all delays, disappointments, rejections, failures, setbacks, backwardness in our lives, we pronounce divine judgment against you right now. We shake you out of our lives and we command you to cease to exist in the name of Yahushua. Right now, by the blood of Yahushua HaMashiach, we cancel all demonic projected temptations, mistakes, fears, sickness, and confusion right at the edge of breakthrough in the name of Yahushua. By the power in the blood of Yahushua, we decree and declare an end to every seasonal affliction in our lives. We speak to the elements of existence to release everything connected to us and our destinies, hitherto that's been hidden or buried in them. We command the land, the sea, the air to release our promotion, our employment, our spouse, our children, and everything that belongs to us in the name of Yahushua. We command you powers of the land, the air, and the sea, and the wind to work in our favor from this day onwards in Yahushua's name. The heart of a king is in the hand of Elohim, and he turns it wherever he wills. Therefore, we pray, Yahuwah, turn the hearts of those in position to help us and those connected to the progress of our lives our marriages, financial breakthroughs, and destiny manifestation to start working for our good from now onwards in Yahushua's name. Every power, every authority, any principalities working hard to keep us at one spot, hear us today. Your days are over. Your activities are now ceased. Your assignments are over. Carry your loads today, all your burdens. We decree and declare you are all disengaged and fire from our lives right now in the name of Yahushua. We now join and connect to Yahushua, for his yoke is easy and his burden is light in Yahushua's name. Satanic embargoes, restrictions, and restraints against our lives, we command you be destroyed in Yahushua's name. From now onwards, we decree and declare that there shall be no more strange battles, 
fights and disagreements at the edge of our lifting up and breakthroughs in the name of Yahushua. We command every closed door in our lives to be opened by fire and we enter in and we possess our possessions in Yahushua's name. We renounce and denounce and we reject and we pull off every garment of disappointment, rejection, delay, and shame in our lives. We command them to catch fire, roast the ashes in Yahushua's name. O oh, Yahuwah, clothe us with garments of deliverance, cover us with robes of righteousness, as a bridegroom decks himself with his ornaments, and as a bride adorns herself with her jewels in the name of Yahushua. We now slay all evil giants against our lives and destinies today and forever in Yahushua's name. We disconnect ourselves from every household covenant, agreement, initiation, dedication, or curse working against our lives, our destinies, our marriages, or our ministries in the name of Yahushua. As you have said in your word, O Yahuwah, make a way for us where we did not know or see a way before now in Yahushua's name. We prophesy over our lives today. We decree and declare that our spirit, soul, body, our minds are now free from every evil cage of disappointment, rejection, delay, setbacks, backwardness, now in the name of Yahushua. We decree and declare from now onwards that every shame, disgrace, and setback we have encountered in our lives will turn around and be a baraka for us in the name of Yahushua. We pray today, O Yahuwah, through the Ruach HaKudesh, expose any materials, tools, substances, or instruments in our possessions, physically or spiritually, which gives the devil and his demons access and enables them to enforce oppression, rejection, disappointments in our lives and destinies. May all these materials and demonic excess tools be destroyed by fire in the name of Yahushua. Today, we receive the anointing for double speed and acceleration. As Eliyahu overtook Ahab through the power of the Ruach HaKodesh, he girded up his loins and ran like the whirlwind. We receive favor, empowerment, and supernatural resources to pursue, overtake, and recover everything that has been tampered with us or stolen from our lives seven times fold in the name of Yahushua. Henceforth, our lives will move forward. There will be no more disappointment, rejection, delays, setbacks in every aspect of our lives, destiny, marriages, finances, career, ministry, in the name of Yahushua. Wherever we've been denied access today, O Yahuwah, return back to us double for our trouble, in the name of Yahushua. There will be no more disappointments. There will be no more rejection. There will be no more failure. There will be no more setbacks or delays. We will move forward into our destinies now in the name of Yahushua. We bind, rebuke, and reject every spirit of disappointment, rejection, failure, delay, setback, backwardness. We command you to come out of our lives with all your roots. Don't come back in the mighty name of Yahushua. Your will. Joel chapter 2 verse 23. And you, children of Sion, be glad and rejoice in Yahuwah, your Elohim. But he shall give you the teacher of righteousness and cause the rain to come down for you, the former rain and the latter rain as before. And the threshing floor shall be filled with grain and the vat shall overflow with new wine and oil. Then I shall repay you the years that the swarming locust has eaten, the crawling locust and the consuming locust and the gnawing locust, my great army which I sent among you. Then you shall eat, eat and be satisfied and shall praise the name of Yahuwah, your Elohim, who has done with you so wondrously, and my people shall never be put to shame. And you shall know that I am in the midst of Yahshareel, and that I am Yahuwah, your Elohim, and there is no one else, and my people shall never be put to shame. O Yahuwah, by this word, restore all our wasted years by fire, in the name of Yahushua HaMashiach and Nazareth. So be it. Thank you, Father, for answering our prayers. Hallelujah. Yeshayahu, Isaiah 54, 11 and 12. O you afflicted one, tossed with storm and not comforted. Behold, I will lay your stones with emeralds and your foundation with sapphires. And I shall make your battlements of rubies and your gates of crystal and all your walls of precious stones. O Yahuwah, by this word, break down the faulty foundations, the walls, gates, windows, borders, the roof of our lives and rebuild it, restore it, repair it fortified and barricaded in a new one in Mashiach Yahushua Father make us an impenetrable fortress in the name of Yahushua Zechariah Zechariah chapter 2 verses 3 through 5 it is written and see the messenger who was speaking to me was going out and another messenger was coming out to meet him and he said to him 
Run. Speak to this young man, saying, Jerusalem is to remain unwalled because of the many men and livestock in it. For I myself am to her, declares Yahuwah, a wall of fire all around. And for Kavod, I am in her midst. O Yahuwah, Father, we pray that you will be a wall of fire round about us on all sides, around our households, our workplaces, our transportations, and be the esteem, be the Kavod in it, in the name of Yahushua. Acts chapter 2, verses 2 through 4, it is written, And suddenly there came a sound from the Shamayim, as of a rushing mighty wind, and it filled all the house where they were sitting. And there appeared to them divided tongues, as of fire, and settled on each of them. And they were all filled with the Ruach Kakudesh, and began to speak with other tongues, as the Ruach gave them to speak. O Yahuwah, as a rushing mighty wind, Father, we pray, fill us up with your Ruach HaKodesh until the cup overflows. Fill up every gap, every crevice that was emptied out. Fill us with your power, your might, your understanding, your knowledge, your wisdom, your love, and your shalom. In the mighty name of Yahushua, we pray. Hallelujah. All the honor and esteem belongs to Yahuwah, all should die. Thank you, Yahushua, the Lamb that's worthy to be praised before the foundation of the world. Hallelujah. Keep the oars and your lamps ready, Kodoshim. Keep fighting a good fight. Shalom.